All right, before I start this video, I have a bunch of sunflower seeds in my mouth. So I don't even know why I'm starting the video, but we're gonna do some fishing today. I fished all day yesterday with hopes that I would make a banger, but I completely and utterly failed. I literally didn't catch anything and it was terrible. Today it's beautiful out, it's a little bit windy, but, but we're gonna try and get on a smallmouth bite today. Other than that, today's video is sponsored by Catchco. Thank you Catchco for sponsoring this video. Today I'm actually gonna be using exclusively only Catchco baits. I think the baits that I have are gonna get it done today, so I'm gonna get to the spot. I'll rig up and show you guys what baits you are, what I'm using, etc. so we'll see you there. I, I still haven't figured out if this is actually a shortcut or not. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. No other reason. <laughs> Here we go. So we made it to the spot. It's kind of loud here, so I apologize in advance. I'm fishing a huge dam, so the water's kind of loud. I'm going to throw in the GoPro. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm rigging up with and why. And uh, I think we're going to get, I think, at least two smallmouth. Hopefully more. But that's, that, that's not setting the bar too high. So I hope they're here. Before I get to fishing to explain to you how my day went yesterday, I fished from noon all the way until 8.30 and didn't get a single sniff. So I need to redeem myself bad. All right, I'll, I'll see here, I'll see. Here are some of the baits that I brought with me. I brought some terminal tackle, obviously, because I'm, I'm gonna need that. And then I bought pretty much just all soft plastics. Now, all these baits that I have right here are available on Shop Carl's, and they are all Ketchco exclusive baits. Guys, they make really great baits. I'm not just saying this because this video is sponsored by them or anything. I genuinely am a big stickler on fishing baits that I truly believe in. Otherwise, I have no interest in it. These baits right here, like the Exo Stick, the Plasma Tail, are some of my favorite baits to be fishing. These Plasma Tails are like literally one of the best shaky head worms and drop shot worms I've ever fished. I love these things so much and they are just freaking juicy, man. These craws, delicious, some tubes. But uh, right now, what I'm gonna throw on first is this Shimmer Shad. I'm actually almost out of them, unfortunately. When I used to fish this spot when I was younger, we used to throw creek chubs and minnows and all kinds of stuff in this waterfall. And we used to fish them right up against this wall right here that I'm fishing. So uh, what I'm thinking is if I throw these on a drop shot, that uh, they will just murder some smallmouth. Guys, this bait right here is like one of the most realistic looking minnow imitations I've ever used. I love this bait to death. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take it and throw it on a drop shot rig right here. And I'm gonna throw this thing right down there and I think it's gonna be the juice. I really, really do. The water's low, it's clearer than it's been in a while. I am feeling ecstatic about this. And walking up here is not always the safest thing either. So I gotta be careful. I, 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 I don't know why I do this to myself. <gasps> Down there is a good place to fish. But let me tell you something, guys. Real quickly, I'm a fisherman. I'm an outdoorsman. I like to hunt and stuff. But holy crap, do I hate snakes. And for some reason, all this stuff right here, just all the water snakes love being in there. Literally one time, a water snake ate my fish. Like it came over, bit it, and it wouldn't let go. So I hucked the sucker way out into the river and cut my line because I was freaking out. I don't mess with those things. Like, I just, I don't like them. I kind of wish I brought a longer rod for this, but this rod was already set up from like fishing a couple weeks ago with a drop shot, so I figured, yeah, I'm gonna fish it. The problem is fishing here, guys, there's so many snags that I don't know how this is gonna work out for me. Is that a snag or a fish? Told you. Huh. Oh, this is so sketchy. This wall is about, I don't know, 20 foot up in the air, 15 foot up in the air. Probably not the smartest thing to be climbing on and doing circus activities. Look at that. There's my buddy right there on the shore. I don't know if you guys can see that, but freaking water snake. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see because I have the GoPro on Superview, but there's literally a snake on that sandy shore right now. Just doing his own thing, squirreling around, trying to probably looking for me. Come on, Shimmer Shad. Give me some loving. All right, my buddy just called me. I'm going to the other side. All righty. Let's see if this corner is any better. 
And you catch one this morning? No catfish though? Nope. Why are you catfish here? I can't take it home. Oh, I got one. Damn. Do I got one? I got one. No, you got a line. No, I got a good fish, but you're snagged on me. Snagged on no, is there a fish on the line? What is going on? There's a fish. That's my line. Wait, what? Oh, is there a fish on this line that I just snagged? No. Or is it just a snagged line? Oh my god, there's a big fish on this line. Really? Yeah. No. Look at this. I swear on my life, guys, there's a fish. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Wait, what do I what is going no on? No way. <laughs> oh, it's a carp. No way. <laughs> wow. Oh my hands! <laughs> wow. Dude, what well, the heck? Come on. What? No way. Someone must have snagged the line, broke it off. And you well, just caught his line. And I caught his line off the snag and caught the carp. Hello. Okay, hold on. This is crazy. Wow. I just hand line caught a carp. <laughs> wow. All right, well, hey, just happened here. So I'm out here smallmouth fishing and I snagged the line and I, I thought my buddy next to me was hooked on to me, but it was actually just a bunch of access line. So I started grabbing it and grabbing it. Like, and I'm not kidding you, this is not a joke. Here's the end of the line. Here's all the line that I pulled in and look what the heck was on the end of it. So I'm gonna unhook this guy so I I know, buddy, I know, I know. That right there, guys, was just on the hand line. So, I don't even know what, what to think about that. I've never had that happen in my life, so I'm gonna let him go just because I guess I helped him out, but how weird was that? All right, buddy, send it. I mean, hey, that was cool, I guess. <laughs> well, you don't see that happen every day. <laughs> does, does that does that count as a catch for me? <laughs> I mean, caught him. Well, okay. You gotta be kidding me! How did that wrap around? I'm over here popping a squad trying to, I, I don't know what it's been, man. I just, I have not had the best luck lately. Alrighty. I'm calling it quits. All quit. <sighs> lately, I've just been getting skunked so bad. I have no idea why, but literally the last four times I've been out fishing, I've literally not even got a nibble. Now it's spawn season for bass, so pond fishing is a little tough. A lot of the ponds around here you can't even sight fish because you really can't see. There's just not enough clarity. I do know of one place, but I just haven't had the time to get out there. The smallmouth should be running hard right now, but I just haven't been able to find them the last two days. I haven't posted the videos of me fishing the last two days, but I've been out grinding. I just, I don't know what it is. I've just been having bad luck. I guess I did catch one fish today that was really weird. I never had that happen to me before. I randomly hooked a line and there was a carp on the end of it so that was kind of cool definitely something different i i don't know i can't believe that happened i'm still kind of just like what the heck hey guys it is what it is and again i always post these videos of me catching nothing or me struggling here and there just because it's real a lot of you guys go out there you don't catch anything it gets frustrating not everybody goes out there and catches something every day this is how you learn this is how you practice this is how you figure them out so it is what it is thank you so much catchco for sponsoring this video I'm going to leave some of my favorite baits that I use by them in the description below. I'm going to be using them a lot this year when I fish. They are just really good quality baits and I actually support them heavily. I do not fish anything that I do not put support behind guys. I'm not just putting this stuff down here because, you know, they're sponsoring this video. Genuinely, they make a really good product. They recently launched a line of square bills. Actually, I'll show you right now. This guy right here, this is a bluegill crankbait. This is a Catchco hard bait right here. 
and that bait is just it's caught me a lot of fish if you guys saw the video where i took the john boat out in that really clear pond this was the ticket that day so i'm probably going to be picking up a few more of those but again guys i'm just going to link down below some of my favorite baits by them you can go ahead and check them out you guys know the deal it's getting dark as you can see the sun's going down so i'm gonna head home i got a steak to cook hey if you guys are new here do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you like this video drop a like for me if you don't follow me already go over to instagram shoot me a follow you guys will see a lot of content that you don't see here on youtube and it's just a nice way to kind of interact with me and an easier way to get a hold of me if any of you guys want to ask me questions thank you so much love you guys so much and i will catch you in the next one